Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome you back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4, our Ethiopia Prester John and a Blessed Nation run. Now, if you remember our last episode, uh, mostly it was just kind of maintaining things. We did finish off Oman here, and uh, we're watching, unfortunately, <laughs> It's about 15.30, so yeah, the green blob of the Ottomans is beginning to come down. Uh, right now, they're just threatening the Mamluks, so it's not a big deal as yet. But we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's look at our institutions. Medrabari is about to actually have uh, the, the Renaissance. And, uh, all, and uh, colonialism is also pop. And the printing press will pop in about 1550, so we'll see how that goes. Um, obviously, the Ottomans have a leg up on everybody in this area. Uh, because they've got the Renaissance. Now, they haven't actually gotten colonialism spread to them, so they're still kind of a little bit behind as well. But mostly, it's they've already got the Renaissance, and we don't. So, all right. Yeah, you can tell it's plain sick. <laughs> I'm trying to move the map just by dragging it. Oh, well. Um, so the Mamluks are, as you can see, getting their butts handed to them because the goal is Rashid, which kind of sucks for us because depending upon how much uh, the Ottomans want to gobble up, uh, we will probably have an uphill battle for Exandria. Uh, because, let's see. Although they are only at minus 12. So, who knows? Maybe the Ottomans uh, aren't uh, as big of an issue right now. Maybe they just took a whole bunch of land. Maybe I am completely delusional. <laughs> uh, and and uh, technically, we haven't actually met the Ottomans yet. Still gotta do that. Uh, it, to show that they, to know that they exist so we can't talk to them beforehand. Uh, Georgia is threatening Armenia on the north. You know, I believe Georgia... Nope, Georgia is Shia right now. Or at least that area is. Uh, no, they're Orthodox. So they will try to click uh, to convert the Coptic if they take over Armenia. Uh, QQ is being pretty much handed to them by Hassa. So Hassa might be the people we have to go through to if we continue our up the east coast of the Arabian Peninsula strategy. Let's see. Right now, we do have the manpower. Hmm, we just gotta look at a couple of things that's going on. It's been a couple days since we visited our Ethiopian friends here. I believe the largest thing is probably yeah, our maintenance and corruption. We're down a buck ninety-six. We are taking. In fact, okay, we do have the unrest guy, so we can fire him and still save a, a ducat. Let's see. That idea is for admin tech, which I think will actually run through because that's just interest anyway. All right. So now we are two ad two advancements away from our land uh, force limit of fifty. A plus 50, which will crank it to about uh, just under 50 total. Let's see. I believe we are about to eat or some golly. Although, we could vassalize Naj. So that's something to think about. Or Muz wouldn't take a vassalization, but Naj would. And it could be beneficial to us. Oh, because we probably have to... They have to like us. Right. Uh, that's probably not going to happen, so let's just eat them instead. Boop. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll take Lua. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let's see how worse Ngali is, because it might be time to actually eat them. They're one away. I thought we were improving the relations with them. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> I figured. So we'll probably be eating them. Um... Just have to worry about Dofar, looks like. As far as any sort of 
rebellion pops, and they'll actually be good in the end of the year. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about them. Let's, we can make states out of Omar. Nope. That's what we need. And right now, both of them, since they don't have... No. When we convert them, they'll probably be a little bit easier to make estates. Yeah. So we'll have to think about that. Uh, Elodia and Kappa don't like each other. Just put something to keep an eye on. Medrabari. So yeah, let's keep going up the east coast of... There. We might even leave Hormuz alone. We'll see. Palestine isn't really important, but then again, if we can get... Actually, even Hormuz itself isn't really that important. Really? I don't care about Naj. It's just mostly that area in the way. <laughs> oh, poor Naj. Swap one spy or for another. All right, uh, Vijayangar uh, does not like us for some reason. I think it's because we're poking around in their uh, economic zone. Um, so Warsingali, we can finally annex. I believe. Yep. All right, so let's clear that. One, and then we can start annexing Warsingali. So let's make our sweat bullets by, uh, well, keeping them alive. Oh, we're finally starting to make some cash again, probably because... I'm not sure. <laughs> There we are. That's what the issue was. It was our manpower recovery. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully manpower won't be too much of an issue. I mean, they are tech 8. We're still tech 9. This should probably go even quicker than the Omani one. Actually, we're going to have to wait. There we go. So... Ah, uh, man. Probably because they're so teeny tiny. Or at least they're worth that much. Eh, go figure. Uh, well, we'll just chill out here, build up a little bit of ca cash. In fact, while we're building up cash, let's see if there's anything we can build on. There's a 10. I think. No, we already built all that stuff up. Let's look at production. Oh, never mind. We will build that. And then let's go build that. Whoa, that's what that was. That wasn't a that wasn't a mom. That was uh a mom looks. No wonder it was so big. Alright, well we'll clear that off. Uh -huh. Wow, looks like the they're just I have no idea what they're doing. I don't even think they know what they're doing. They're just going down uh, the, the Red Sea. Hopefully they won't be taking that, because if they, they block us off, that's going to be interesting, to say the least. But anyway, let's go take on... Uh... Right, actually, we'll, we'll give you the leader. The wonderful leader. All of one pip. There we go. Well, that war was quick. <laughs> In fact, we're, we're at the point we might as well just keep our barks going. Oh, speaking of that. I want to check. Oh, yes. We really need to start actually building up a trade fleet. That could make us money. Now, we will be getting uh, the War Sangali trade fleet. Uh, which I think is all of one right now, but... Yeah. Three 
organized. And Warson Gully has eight. So that'll be great. We just, we're in the process of building, looks like four, so that eight won't go anywhere near an issue. Um, all right, we're actually gonna back off of uh, here for just a bit. The Omani Separatists actually are kind of annoyed. I don't want to give them any more reasons, so we're gonna do kinda here. As our religious unity keeps going in the tank for every Sunni, <laughs> Sunni thing we take. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of what we day is bolted, isn't it? No, no, we didn't do it on this one. I'm sorry. Yay, trade expansion. And there we go. There's the whole war. Advance. In fact, it was so quick they didn't even have a chance to uh, have war exhaustion hit them. Boop. All right, so that's ours, and we have enough of uh, the Arabian Desert here, uh, or the Arab Al Khali, that it, that wasteland has turned blue. Nifty, nifty, nifty. All right, so we got another what? Uh, Hundred or so ducats. Hundred and seven ducats. Excellent. And we'll pour those. I mean, that's actually the main reason why our admin tech keeps going down so low is uh, uh, we can't swap it for another eleven years, and we keep pouring everything in the universe. So Hormuz, you're good for now. In fact, you know what? I won't. We won't ally them, but let's improve relations. It might actually might be thinking about seeing if we can ally or or vassalize them as a sort of bulwark against the Timrids here, which are the other people we need to probably talk to, because they haven't actually taken their nosedive yet. But if Bajangar decides it ever wants to actually hit us, we do need somebody that can help us actually take them on, so. Wow, our entire fleet is just trade nodes. Huh, yeah, that's fine. Meanwhile, let's see how the war is going. Okay, it's negative 34. Great. Uh, and seriously, the fact that there's this much probably helps us that we could still actually probably go up the Nile with the Mamluks. Like, that's that. That might be what we have to think about doing just to make sure we keep Alexandria. So they're at 20 right now, which means we actually can easily take them out with what we've got. But apparently the Ottomans got smart, and they're... Uh, they go <laughs> Interesting. The AI cheated right here, because these are the two areas that we actually could take as a causes. But... They took them, so we couldn't actually land on them, and build up anything, and in fact, it took Alexander... I honestly think that the AI is like, no, Ethiopia, deal with it. Put on the shades. <sighs> oh, well. Alright, so we're back to actual... I don't know why it's showing that we're at, uh, anywhere near that issue. So maybe the Jengar does. Oh, that's why. Ha ha ha! Forgot to put the ports down. Derp. Okay. So, all right, Shemar. Would you like to come join the team? All right. So. I mean, seriously, Shamar, once again, is it's, it, they're just sort of in the way. We might actually want to, yeah, start it on Hasa. More than anything, because... Um, yeah. Because their stuff is what's really valuable. Qatar is seven, Bahrain is seven, and Basra is 11. Oh, that's nifty. So we might just try to eat Hasa completely rather than just go up. Now they are tech. No, actually they're even tech on us, so that's good too. 
So let's get the spy network on them going pretty quickly. Because we should be able to fabricate... Yeah. We'll be able to fabricate these guys even while we're waiting to hit, to hit Shamar. Oh, actually, Shamar is allied with Yemen. Oh, okay, well, whatever. We all kind of know that Yemen is not doing great here. Check. Those are armies. Yes, I'm looking at armies. Wow. Gotta love talking to yourself sometimes. So Yemen's at 6, and Shamar is at 7. So 13. So one of our stacks could take care of them. And in fact, if Yemen tries anything, then these guys will go after them. Um, let's see what our aggressive expansion is right now. Not very high. Apparently, only Hormuz really cared that we ate Shamar and uh, uh, Najd. Alright, so let's do what I usually do and wait for the coring to finish, because I we want to try and digest that. It's going to take three years. I can't believe the mom managed to pull that off. <laughs> That's sneaky AI. Sneaky! It's sneaksy! So, Warsaw Golly will be uh, eaten by the time we finish coring. Yeah, we're taking only 7% of our extension for that corn. So, you know what? What the heck? So, boats building. And, uh... Oh, never mind. Let's uh, go deal with our boats. Hormuz would actually be really popular right now. Plus, it did... Oh. Unfortunately, Hormuz only transfers this way. Toward Basra. So, going out and protecting Hormuz would be kind of pointless for us right now. Um, so, we might have to continue doing... Uh, induce... Either Induce or Goa. Yeah, that's that's part of why uh, um, Vajangar isn't happy with us. But you know that'll change soon once uh, <laughs> once Portugal arrives up there. going down. Kinda is being converted. Or kinda. It's either kinda or kinda. Or whatever. Oh, not whatever. I mean, I should, you know, we should, we should always strive to be respectful of the pronunciation of things. Man, the uh, books are getting super closed. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ottomans eat as much as possible. Oh, there's the last one. So from what we can tell, the Mudlooks now have lost everything. They're at 53% though. Oh, oh, there we go. Alright. So, Mudlooks are... They, they sold Suikin to Elodia. Wow! I, I never even expected that, but that also kind of ticks us off. Well, granted, we, we, we're okay with Halayib, but, uh, dang, dang, that's going to be interesting. But uh, the Ottomans exist for us, so... Now we can get more moves. And... Wow, that was quick. They're at minus five. Wow, there are two techs ahead of us. Oh, that is not happy. Dang, everyone is still, even with all of that, allied with the Mamas. Wow, 
that's crazy time. All right, well, just as a sort of, uh, hi, how you doing? Let's try improving relations with the Ottomans, because, uh, who knows? I, I might be able to hold them off. Uh, <clears throat> never. Is in a in a war with Georgia of all things. I wonder why. Okay, because it's Crimea, AQ, Dolkadir, and Gazamuk. Which means that Gazamuk. No, Gazamuk's always up here. Okay. I wonder if we can still fabricate. Nope. Which means our fabrication here. Probably means Bupkis. I mean, we do have a flame, so we might be able to press it, but that's gonna be tough. Wow, I still can't. Sold it to Elodia! Sold it to Elodia! <laughs> I know, I know, I'm kind of whining here. It just. Dang! The AI on this is just being a real piece of work. Uh. Okay. Yeah, Mom looks, you're really a power now. Uh, they're down to 13 out of 37, so we could hit them right now. I know Elodia would definitely give us military access, but they would probably want to help us uh, have, uh, yeah, they would probably want something out of it. Although, we've built up enough favors that... Oh, this is... This is... Ah! <laughs> like, what do you do now? That... Wow. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still angry. It's just... Wow. That's all. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, well, let's see. How close are we on Miltech? We are nowhere near the universe. Ouch. We're way below. But finally, we're starting to get some, uh, renaissance going. Well, I take about 3,000 years. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to have to put a, put a pause here uh, as we rethink our life choices, and uh, I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day, and with that, class dismissed.